My brother's brushing his teeth. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with the end of the year book tag. I believe I did this last year in December but we're doing it a little bit early this year because I don't have any content to put up. So let me know down below some videos you want to see from me that would be super helpful. But this tag was originally created by Ariel Bassett so I will leave her video down below and without further ado let us get started. So the first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you still need to finish? My Goodreads currently reading shelf has like nine books on it, but most of them are books that I started in like 2018 and just have not picked up since then, so I should probably take them off. But I do have three that I have started and need to finish so far. The first one is a book that I started because of the try a chapter tag. I read five arcs, so I'll leave that link down below if you want to check out that video. But it is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson, and I read the first chapter and I like fell in love with it. And I couldn't choose between this book and two others, so I asked you guys at the end of the video which one you wanted me to read and you ended up picking Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell so I did read that I do have a vlog for that I'll see if I can find it put it down below as well but I'm only one chapter in to this so I put it on the currently reading page and I do need to actually pick it up and finish it because I am actually very intrigued by it but yeah that's the first book and then I also have The Companion by Katie Allender this is one of the other three that I couldn't choose between in that video. I'm a lot farther in this one than Grown because I have this as a Ned Galley e-arc and then they ended up finding full copies and sending me one my way so I figured if they're gonna send me both the e-arc and the full copy I should probably read it. It's about a girl named Margot who becomes an orphan suddenly and then she's taken in by a family who knew her father but there is a little bit of a catch to this. She is tasked with being the companion to their catatonic daughter Agatha and it's like the story of that so I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm like 150 pages in. Yeah, exactly 150 pages and I'm hopefully going to finish it soon by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. I think I'll be able to. It's November right now, so. And then the last book that I've started and need to finish is just like my currently reading one, so I'm going to finish it probably today, honestly, but it's This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada and I'm like more than halfway through, but the plan for today is to finish it. It's okay. It's nothing like super special. I'll probably end up giving it like a 3.5, but it's about this virus that is taking over the world and there's a geneticist who is trying to create a vaccine. He has a daughter named Katerina and he ends up getting taken by a group organization that's very dangerous and then she is left alone for two years and then a soldier shows up on her doorstep saying that her father is dead and has left her a message to basically like solve the DNA in the vaccine to save the world and she has to work together with this soldier in order to do that but it is a good read. I have the second book so I just figured I'd binge the series. I don't have the third book though so I can't really binge the series but you know what I mean. The second question is do you have a, an autumnal, autumnal, I can't say that word, but autumn book to transition you into the end of the year? I don't read based off of like seasons. I just pick up what I want to pick up when I want to pick it up. So no, but I guess you could say like thrillers are like autumn winter books, I guess. That's what I think of when I think of like dark and dreary weather, cold, gross, thrillers, you know? But that's what I read the majority of, so I mean I read that all the time. So no. The third question is, is there a new release you are still waiting for? Yes, the fourth book in the Ember in the Ashes series. I want it so bad, I need it so bad, and it's just like taking forever to come out. I freaking love that series and I just need to know what happens to my babies, you know? The next question is, what are three books that you want to read by the end of the year? Uh, pretty much my entire TBR, but I did pick three books just to, you know, answer the question. They were on my dresser because they're from a five-star predictions video and I still have not filmed the results because I haven't finished all the books even though I filmed that in like March. So we're a little bit behind. I did read two out of the five, so we're giving myself some credit, but I'm a failure, I know. I'll also leave that link down below if you want to look at it. 
but you know you'll know three out of the five books. But the first one is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Vorbel. I did start it. I'm like 25 pages in so I'm giving myself a pat on the back for that even though technically I haven't done shit. Then the next one is Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. I'm actually really excited for this one. I'm pretty sure it has dragons in it so I don't know why I haven't started it but I haven't. Shame on me. And then the third one from that video is What I Lost by Alexandra Bellard and this is like an eating disorder book. If you've been on this channel for a while you know that eating disorders, mental illness, mental health is something I'm really interested in so any books that involve those kind of things I pick up. And yet I haven't picked up this one so you know we're gonna get to it eventually. I'm just a lazy motherfucker. See the problem is is that when I set out these goals to read things I never do it because I'm like well now I don't want to read it because there's like a reason for me to read it and I procrastinate it. Like it's really dumb but that's the way my brain works. Like I, I can't be told to read something even if it's me telling me to read it. And then the next question is is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of 2020? I did pick a book but I honestly don't think that any book could be my number one book for the year because I love that book so much. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I'm gonna film like a top 10 books of 2020 but the one that I chose for this is Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahern. I really love Serpent and Dove. It's one of my favorites but I don't know if this will surpass it or not. We'll have to see. But yeah, I'm very excited about this one. My boyfriend actually bought it for me as like a surprise present and I squealed like a little girl in the store when he picked it up for me. So I think that will also like kind of boost it for me because it's like fond memories, you know, but I probably will really like the story as well. I, I'm also just a huge fan of Lou, so I feel like I'm gonna love her no matter what her story is, but I'm really excited about this book. I'm just waiting for the audiobook version of it to come into my library. I have it on hold. I just really want to listen to it on audiobook because I listened to the first one on audiobook, so it just feels like I need to listen to it on audiobook. It probably doesn't make any sense, but that's how my brain works. And then the final question is, have you already started making plans for your reading in 2020? Uh, no. I don't really plan that far ahead. I am a very mood reader. I just pick up what I want to do. My mom makes my TBR every month and I never read any of the books that she picks out. Maybe I'll read like one or two, but really I don't plan that far ahead. I have a lot of books that I say I'm going to read for the year. I'm pretty sure I filmed so many like books I need to read this year and like books that I need to finish by the end of the year videos and I still have not read half of the books that I put on the ones that are from like 2017 so no I have not made any plans that I will actually follow. Alright everybody so that was the end of the year book tag. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!